yesterday, what I watched unfold happen in Washington, D.C., had me furious. The fact that we're going to allow these freaking punks to sit there and beat on cops who are told, I'm sure they are told, do not at any means, do not at any any possibility is there for you to be striking back at one of these protesters. These cops are getting hit. They're getting spit on. They're getting pushed. They're getting pushed out. And we're just sitting here doing nothing. What the hell is going on here? Then we're going to let the son of a, you know what, take down the American flags outside Union Station in our nation's, nation's capital and hoist up Palestinian flags? And there are American citizens who are sitting there and letting that shit take place? What the fuck is wrong with you? How do you allow something like that to happen? What is wrong with you? We had men storm the beach in Normandy, knowing, knowing they were going to take a bullet to the head. And they did it for the betterment of America. You're going to sit there and let somebody take down the American flag and hoist up a Palestinian flag and you ain't going to do shit about it? How can any person just sit by and allow that shit to happen? You're going to sit there and burn the flag in the in the name of terrorists this isn't like we're this is a real protest of some kind we didn't take american citizens and 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 and, and put them back into slavery we're like okay it's time to rock and roll these people are in washington dc defending terrorists because Benjamin Netanyahu addressed Congress and explained to them what is done on a daily basis to his country. And the amazing part of this is the people who are out there protesting will be the first one to tell you that they're going to stand up for the LGBTQ rights movement. Yeah? Why don't you take yourself over? to Gaza? Why don't you take yourself over to Iran? Why don't you take yourself over to these radical nations who literally will take a gay or a trans person, hang them upside down by their toenails from a flagpole, and light them up with acid? There was a video going on yesterday all over Twitter. I'm not going to play it for you because I'm not going to give these people any time of day, but there's a kid going around asking people, what are you here protesting for? What are you here protesting for? They won't say it. They won't say it. We got people in the crowd who are dressed like jihadis. Where are all the big, huge Harley bikers, man? Where are you? Because I remember when there were two, there was a two, the, the one million Muslim march that happened on D.C., and all of a sudden erupts the two million biker march. Where are the bikers? Where are the hell's angels? Where are any of these guys who have the tough leather, uh, leather jackets driving up and down the, 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 the I-95 like they own the road? Where are you? Why aren't you in Washington, D.C.? Where are all my vets? Where are all my boxers and my UFC tough guys and all the guys who, you know, wrestle and, and box and everything else and always have an American flag draped over their shoulders? Where are you? Where am I, for that matter? Where are my sons? Where are we all? Where are you? Where am I? I'm just as guilty as you. I'm just as guilty as the bikers. We're all just sitting here watching the Liberty Bell be defaced by a bunch of punk asses, many of which have been imported from around the world. And we're just sitting here pretending as if tomorrow's going to be a sunny day. Things keep on getting worse and worse and worse and worse each and every day. We just had our president shot at and hitting the ear, and nothing's being done. Zero. They're having little tiny shitty hearings on Washington, D.C. Oh, well, thank God we got Cheadle to quit. Quit? She should have never been there in the first place. How did we let that happen? Oh, oh, because she resigned? All things are fine? Let's keep moving on? Talking about Kamala Harris's $126 million big day of raising money? We, we're going to allow this to unfold? We're going to allow American flags to be burned in our nation's capital 
as the guys chant out, Allahu Akbar, what, what do you need to see? My wife last night saying to me, how are we allowing this to happen? We just had two Russian and two Chinese planes enter our airspace by Alaska. They are screwing with us. The Russians just put a submarine down in Cuba. They are screwing with us. The Chinese flew a balloon over our, the United States of America, and we sit there and look like we were like, you know, like, oh, is that the Goodyear blimp? Uh, what is that? <laughs> wow. Gee, it's written in Chinese. Yeah, made in China. What isn't made in China at this point? Flip anything over. It says made in China. And you know what? It ain't going to be long until somebody flips you over and your ass is going to be stamped with a China freaking embed. You're going to be branded with China because they're going to own your ass. They're going to own my ass because we're doing nothing. We're sitting back like freaking little tiny wimps. These scumbags go into, into, into the hotel where Netanyahu is. Get that video, Ryan. Make sure you get that video. And that they release maggots all over where he's going to be. Nothing gets done. You got to be shitting me. You get some guy who hoists up an American flag and a don't tread on me flag. And all of a sudden the HOAs are telling him, take it down, take it down. You're going to offend someone. You're offended? Stick it up your ass. Get out of my country. I can't believe we're doing nothing. Zero. There should have been a line of guys there yesterday. And you know what? Women too. A line of guys standing there. Because you won't even have to lift a fist. You won't. These people are such wimps, such cowards. You don't even have to lift a fist. All you got to do is give them the effing look. The look that says, if you dare cross that line, if you dare put lighter fluid on that flag, if you dare even think for one second of hitting that cop, your mother's going to think there's an earthquake back in Topeka. They won't do anything. But we keep turning a blind eye each and every day, pretending as if Nothing is happening. I'll show you videos. Look what's happening in the UK. 50% of the UK is now Muslim. They think by 100, it's going to be 100%. The number one name in the UK for little boys born is Muhammad. Do you know what the people in the UK used to say? It can't get any worse than this. It can't get any worse than this. It can't get any worse than this. Each year, each year, each year. They've lost their country. They've lost their country. And you watch those videos over in the UK and you're just like, oh, you know, oh, <laughs> sucks to be over there. Those freak, what the hell's going on over there? Or I watch your videos, you watch them from France. You're like, oh my God, that Macron, my God, what has he done to France, Paris? I'm never going to Paris. You talk about it like it's not happening in your own backyard. Everything that's happening in France and UK and around the world is happening right here. Right here, right now. You think Macron was far left? <laughs> what do you think Kamala Harris is? And to make it disgusting, and I mean totally disgusting, the mainstream media is freaking covering over what it is they were just complaining about three, four, five weeks ago. She's unelectable. She's not this. She's not that. All of her staff is leaving. She's this. She's that. And now she's the cat's meow. She's Queen Kamala. And to make matters worse, I don't see the Trump campaign doing enough. I don't see Trump and J.D. Vance doing anything other than getting up on rallies and poking fun of Kamala. We know she's a dunce. Everybody knows she's a dunce. We need to be talking about her record and scaring the living shit out of people not to freaking vote for that crazy lunatic. She just raised $126 million in the last couple of days, 60% of which is coming from small donors. I'm looking on Twitter. You know, Clay Travis, outkick. Uh, 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 I'm on Fox News every two minutes. Posting to his account, 
a, 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 a parody where Trump and, and J.D. Vance are now Luke and Duke, Luke and Bo Duke. I wrote to him, I'm like, are you kidding me? We got our nation's capital burning down. You're playing Duke's a hazard? This is why we lose every freaking time. Does anybody take anything seriously anymore? This guy's filling in for Rush Limbaugh. Get him the fuck out of there. Rush Limbaugh right now is spinning in his grave. Spinning. Every single last American should have been in Washington, D.C. yesterday, standing in front of every single thing there is, whether it's a monument, whether it is a cop, whether it is our flag, whether it is the Liberty Bell. You didn't have to bring a knife. You didn't have to bring a gun. You didn't even have to raise your fist. All you had to do was give the look that said, this shit has got to stop now. A president shot, our nation's capital freaking going in flames. And what in November 5th, another election stolen? At what point do we realize that we are literally digging our own graves?